here in front of me gathered uh, because you are the ones that propelled me into elected office uh, five or six years ago. And, uh, I am forever grateful for all of your support uh, in that effort and, uh, and and I just welcome you here and, and, and very much want to thank you for coming and extending your support this evening. I want to give a special thanks to Alex. Uh, he has been with me from the beginning, and he has been a great partner, uh, serving as treasurer uh, way back in 2005 when we, when we first kicked off the state representative campaign, and he has been with me ever since. And uh, he has opened up his home on several occasions, uh, events and celebrations, and uh, it's been a lot of fun. I've really enjoyed uh, working with him and, and, quite frankly, his entire family, because these things are always are family efforts. And, uh, uh, I'm indebted to him, and I uh, just want to say that he has very graciously signed on to be the treasurer of my U.S. Senate campaign this time. Uh, I also want to recognize a very dear friend and colleague uh, up at the State House, uh, State Representative David Lindsay from NATO has joined us. Thank you, David, for coming. It means a lot to me. David and I um, sit right next to each other in the chamber of the House of Representatives, and David has been a true friend and mentor to me uh, over the course of my time in the House, and uh, I really enjoy his company, and uh, he's a very smart, politically savvy uh, state representative, and he serves his, his folks in uh, Natick and Millis and Sherbert um, very, very well. Uh, we've also got a, a couple of other folks uh, who are uh, elected officials here. Um, Jackie Haas, the Western Democratic Town Committee. Uh, Farwes Rahid from the Framingham uh, Democratic Town Committee. And I'm trying to look around to see if there's anybody else. Uh, Beverly Dial, yes, <laughs> is from the Sudbury uh, Democratic Town Committee. So thanks so much, Beth, for coming and everybody else. And um, I did want to take a moment to introduce campaign team and thank them as well, starting with John Saxton, uh, our campaign manager. Well, I'm looking around for the, the faces. Robin Gunderson, our scheduling manager and volunteer coordinator. Where are you, Robin? Robin. We have uh, Joe, Joe, where are you? Joe Caiazzo, our field director. Karen Garmer from Sudbury and Ariana Gunderson are part of our advanced team helping me on this walk that I'll describe to you in a few minutes. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> Andrew Levine, who helped me out uh, way back when as a, as a high schooler on my first race, is our all-purpose uh, campaign staffer. Andrew, thank you. Kristen Pendergrass uh, in the back there, who works with me at the State House. Some of you have interacted with her, uh, working with me up there. Uh, she's been a great partner in serving the people of Lincoln, Sudbury, and Wayland. She is here on her non-working hours. Um, I would also, of course, like to thank my dear wife, uh, who is Sarah Sarah. is in many ways like an angel watching over me, and uh, she continues to look absolutely marvelous, and so thank you for all that you uh, do and all that you put up we'll with. We'll work on uh, that later. <laughs> <laughs> um, our children would be here, except they have final exams, and uh, both Sarah and I um, made a priority that they should be putting their noses into their textbooks, which they're beautifully doing this evening, so otherwise <laughs> Thanking them too, but uh, so um, So again, thank you all for uh, coming. It's uh, it's great to be here in front of all of you, and I am uh, uh, I am very grateful again, as I said, for all the support that you gave me. I have very fond memories uh, of folks that I see right in front of me working in my garage five or six years ago, <laughs> stuffing envelopes. <laughs> or folks
folks uh, uh, pounding lawn signs into into lawns uh, around Sudbury and Lincoln and Wayland uh, when we first ran. We had I think over three or four hundred lawn signs. We had we have folks here who very graciously opened up their homes uh, and invited us in and invited their fam their friends and neighbors so that uh, I had a chance to introduce myself. And there's a whole bunch of people here who have uh, contributed financially over the course of my time as an elected official, and I'm very grateful for all of your support. I'm, uh, it's humbling when I think about how much uh, assistance you have given me, um, and I, uh, I get energized when I think about your, your hopes and your aspirations and your support for me uh, as I take this next journey. Um, there's a lot of things to be cynical about in the world today. We read about them all too often in the paper. But when I look around and I see the patience and the aspirations and, the, and, and, and that vision for a better future that is resident in so many people's eyes and faces here tonight, it urges me onward. It gives me energy to continue to serve you and the people of Massachusetts so that we can all create a better state and a better country. And that's one reason why I want to be your voice and your advocate and your champion down in Washington in the United States Senate. I, as you know, am a public servant, and I used to work in the United States Senate. I worked for two of them, two terrific senators, Gary Hart, who taught me the power of new ideas, and Senator Barbara Mikulski from Maryland, who taught me how to fight on behalf of regular folks and give the people an effective voice in the halls of Congress, perhaps when they didn't have a voice there before. And uh, I really enjoyed working with them and, and, and learned a lot from them. And, and I took that service that is so much a part of my DNA and I brought it overseas with me, serving others in Southeast Asia and Haiti, helping refugees and the poor and the disadvantaged. And when I learned over there, and I was just chatting with somebody about Haiti, about how impoverished it is, is that the best social program for anyone, any family, anywhere, is a good, decent job with steady wages and good benefits. Mm -hmm. And that is what I want to fight for. That is what I want to advocate for. Creating new jobs is the number one priority that we face as a country today. And that is that is my call. And that's what I want to work on down in And so after Southeast Asia and Haiti, I took that lesson to heart. And I went to work in the private sector this is the engine room of job creation. This is where it all happens. And if I want to learn how to create jobs, if I want to learn how the economy really works and how to help my brothers and sisters lift themselves and their families up, I need to go see how it's done. And so I did that. And for the past 16 years, I've worked in small and large businesses here in Massachusetts. And I worked on the front lines. And I saw how jobs were created. And I want to, I want to bring those lessons down Washington because creating new jobs is that number one priority that we face as a country. It's what people are crying out for. The effective unemployment rate in this country is about 20%. And that's, that's not right. Um, and, and I saw in the private sector, I saw good things, but I also saw a darker side. And I saw misguided CEOs who put Wall Street analysts above their own employees and the jobs that they were holding on to for dear life and for their families. I saw people put greed ahead of, uh, 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 put greed out there taking advantage of people who are perhaps less educated or less sophisticated. And, and I, I spoke truth to power. I took that very, very seriously and I challenged these folks and I challenged people and, and tried to put primacy on maintaining those jobs and helping out employees instead of being focused solely on just profits and, and all too often focused on the internal machinations of management rivalries and who's on top and, and who's going to be the next CEO. So I, I, want to, I want to take those lessons and to me to, to, that I learned down to Washington. And so when I think about um, what I, what I also learned after that uh, was that my true <coughs> calling is in...